My name is Wendy Fontaine. I'm a writer, a teacher, a mom, and some people might call me a neat freak. My daughter is seven years old. Her name is Angela, and she loves to keep everything, even things that probably seem like trash. I grew up in New England in a very small town, and my parents kept everything. And now I get a little bit of a kick out of throwing things away. Well, sometimes it's hard to concentrate on writing or work if the house is a mess. I feel like I need to clear some space physically and metaphorically before I can focus. But I'm a parent first, and my daughter is my priority. So if that means the dishes sit in the sink for a little while, then the dishes sit in the sink for a little while. For a little while. In grade school, I started to notice that other people's houses weren't quite as cluttered as my own. Their houses were neater and I mistook that neatness for happiness. But now that I'm getting older, I realize that, you know, everybody has clutter. A neat house does not necessarily mean a happy house. I clean her room now and then when she's off at school. Just the other day I cleaned it, and I threw out a empty Kleenex box and some scraps of paper. But later, she told me that the Kleenex box was a crib for her baby cow, and the scraps of paper were his blankets, and she was pretty upset with me. Everybody has very real reasons for becoming the person that they become, and my mother grew up poor, with no presents at Christmas and no food in the house, and now her way of holding on to things, that's her way of fending off the memory of that poverty and I, I certainly, as a parent, I certainly understand that now.